What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is Foxtrot. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, you've probably heard of the dance move called the Foxtrot. I know nothing about it. ballroom dancing. I know nothing about it at all. But here's what I do know. I'm getting married on August 22nd. Um, I do not know how to dance. My fiance, soon to be wife, can feel the music and actually just knows how to move and stuff like that. I'm like this, just this big giant oak tree that just sits still and I don't really know how to do it. So I had this vision, right? Or this idea. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. Not that I care what people think, but I, I actually want to make something memorable here. So what we need to do is we need to get a dance lesson. <clears throat> so I had her find a place and last night was our first you know, like our, our first consultation we went through and we actually picked it up pretty well. Um, I, I did pretty good, but that's not what this is about. It was about learning something and doing something that made me uncomfortable. And I want to talk to you about where you're at right now in your journey. Boredom could be setting in. You could be six, seven, eight, ten months into your, you know, being sober. You could be four years into it. You could be two days into it. This hits different men at different times. But what I hear over and over and over is like, man, I just get so bored. Or I don't know how to live my life without alcohol. Or I don't know how to, you know, I just don't know how to live. I've been doing it for so long. I've successfully built this habit, this function that is not working against me. Why? I fucking took my life away. That's basically what they're telling me. And I want to give you some tools today. And I was going to tell you something. Boredom is bullshit. The world is your fucking playground. Literally. As I'm, as I'm, Thinking about this, there's so many things you could do. You could go hunting. You could go skiing. You could write a book. You could read a book. You could go dancing. You could take your kids to the park. You could do some push-ups. You could go for a run. You could learn how to sew. What it really means, what you're really saying is that you don't want to do anything, that it was easier to fucking drink and it's easier to sedate. It's easier to go back to what you did. Even though knowing go, going back to what you were doing was the and expecting different results is the definition of insanity, which we've talked about over and over and over. But my point is this. When I was crawling through the pit, and I want you to understand, for the guys out there right now that, that either they're on my course or actually it's probably not most of the people that work with me. This is a, a wider audience. But most of you guys out there right now that are doing this, you don't know how to live your life. And this is exactly what I did. For the first, after I got through the first 90 days, when I was actually able to really kind of start creating some new habits and start feeling better and it, it took me a while, man. I was a pretty severe case. I started doing one thing a week that would make me feel uncomfortable or something that I would want to do. I don't know about you, but when I used to sit at the bar and I'd be drinking and I wasted away hundreds and hundreds of sunny days. I would think to myself, man, it would be nice to be out on a boat. Man, it would be nice to go for, uh, learn how to go kayaking, right? I mean, these are things you may or may have done before that you just stopped doing. My point is this. I want you to pick one day a week an hour or two of your week that you look forward to where you do something that you normally wouldn't do. I even did one time when I was in the first year, went to this like board and brush type thing where I painted a picture. I'm not an artist. It was full of old women in there, which is fine. But I went in and I had conversations and I did something because it made me feel uncomfortable. What it was was this. I was actually building self-confidence. I was actually making it so that I could walk into any room and own who I am. Because this thing here is bigger than just drinking. It's about controlling your thoughts, emotions, and actions. Part of the reason that people fall into this sedated lifestyle, this habit dysfunction that successfully kicks the shit out of them is because they're scared. There's fear. There's worry. There's lack of self-confidence. People stop remembering what it was like to be a child when they did the fun things. So we'll go back to the Foxtrot. So we're Foxtrot last night and we're having a blast and, and Kendra's picking it up and I'm picking it up and I don't want to say we're pros, but we're pretty much the best. But my, my point is this, we did it. It was uncomfortable. We got out. I asked her how I did and She said, you do really great when there's structure. That wasn't structure that made it great. Sure. I had a, I had a teacher. I had her. It was this. I had a definitive outcome of what I wanted to do. I knew I was going to be uncomfortable in there. I did not actually have a fucking clue how to dance until I did. It was the first time I danced, but I knew this going into it because of all the reps I've done of making myself uncomfortable. Like I'm asking you to do for yourself today. I knew that I could go in there and I knew I could do it. Doesn't mean I'm going to go on that. I don't even know if that show exists, but that dancing show dancing with the stars, 
It means this. I have enough confidence in myself to walk into any situation and own it. This is not coming from an egotistical or arrogant standpoint. This is coming from a man who knows who the fuck he is, where he sits with alcohol, where he sits with drugs, where he sits with his future, where he, where he sits with business, where he sits with his family, where he sits with a legacy. Today, my brother, I want you to look at your life and find out what pieces are you not doing what you want to do. That comes down again to what I always preach. Stop fucking lying. Start getting uncomfortable. Start actually doing things. You've only got so much time here on this earth. The world is your planet. The, the, the planet is your playground. Like this whole world is your fucking playground. Boredom is bullshit. So when you keep telling yourself, I can't do it or keep going back, I want you to understand it's your choice. It's your choice to live in the dysfunction. It's your choice to live in the insanity. This war is won or lost between your ears. You have a choice to make today. Today, you can decide if you want to join us. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. All you have to do is click the link. And as always, my team is here waiting to help you. Our promise is this. We are going to leave you better than we found you, but it's going to take courage. For those of you guys not ready, tomorrow could be your day. We'll be back with another conversation. For those of you guys are, type it in, click the link, go to one of my ads, find me, reach out, and let's do this. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Have an amazing day. We'll see you on tomorrow's show.